guys, so I have this awesome new mould to play with today and I found a matching pendant one, so we're going to make a two piece. Hey everyone, it's Adri here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a really, really cool project that I'm hoping to share with you. I have this beautiful trinket dish mould of the three phases of the moon with a beautiful beautiful it's quite deep actually and we're gonna have a go at creating this today and i do have a matching necklace mold so we're going to coordinate the two so they go together i hope you enjoy so i have mixed up a pot of black resin to do our pendant mold first of all and yes i did get it all over my fingers I was making a mess today, seriously making a mess today. So we're going to pour it in, I apologise for my head. So I'm just going to pour it round, it's struggling to focus because it keeps uh, focusing on the black and then the pink. But I'm just going to do a rough layer like this over each of those dips, indents, fill up the moons at the sides and then off camera, because my head was completely in the way, I'm just going to sort of run, a, run my spatula over the top just to clear off that center point and make sure all the resin is in the gaps then I mixed up a new batch and I got my deeper pouring resin and I've mixed in a little bit of this opaque black from resin 8 literally just taking a little bit off the lid you can see I'm not putting very much in at all to mix up this black and what I'm going to do is I'm pouring a little bit at a time because I didn't want this to spill everywhere so I've mixed the black in and I love these little pots because they are so, so soft. You can squeeze to a fine point. And so I'm just going to literally run around the edge with this black and fill up all around the edge, all the way around. And I love that you can get such a thin, thin drip of resin with these pots. They are wonderful. Silicon pots for the win. Not only are they reusable, so they're good for the environment, but they're nice and soft so you can manipulate them. Then when I have pretty much used all the resin in that pot, I'm going to repeat the situation. I'm going to pour some of the clear resin into the small pot. I could have done it from the large pot, but it's just a little bit more unwieldy. So I've put in some more clear resin. I've wiped off my spatula. I'm going to get a little bit more of black from that lid. And then we're going to mix up the black again to fill the rest of the mould. And I'm going to repeat the process, so squeeze it nice and thin, try and keep my head out of the way. And then I'm just going to fill in all of the side pieces so we get this nice black edge to our piece. And it is just watching it go in so perfectly is quite hypnotic. I just, yeah, that is so much, so lovely to watch. So we're going to let that cure for 24 hours because this is the slower cure, deeper pour resin. We're going to demold our pendant which was just created with the uh, resin 8 coat it resin because it's a nice thin piece and then the um, resin 8 cast it is what I used for the dish for both the black and the purple we're going to do now. So there is our little pendant which is beautiful. I absolutely love that. That is stunning. Stunning stunning. I love resin 8 resin. And so now we're going to mix up a pot of the purple slow cure so the cast it not the coat it the cast it and we're going to pour that into our dish i apologize for kicking the camera i will get better camera stand at some point where i don't keep kicking it so that beautiful purple is going in making sure i don't put too much in there we go and then we're going to give that a mix up and pour it into our pot and i have to say this purple is just Oh, just just look at the colour of this purple. Oh my gosh, that is like the perfect purple. I just it it's oh it's gorgeous. So we're gonna give that in, give it a second to relax, heat it with the heat gun, pop any surface bubbles. But this resonate coat it doesn't get many bubbles. It is beautiful like that. And then we're gonna let this cure for another twenty four to thirty six hours. To make sure it's completely cured before we pop it out and I just oh I absolutely love that color 
but as you can see I had a little bit left so I decided to pour another pendant this time in the purple so again we're going to do the same thing we're going to just fill up the moons at the side and then just do the thin dribble around the hook at the top and the lines across this center of the pentagram and oh just oh, this purple like I want everything I own to be this purple it's such a pretty pretty color I love it right let's see how these look Hey everyone, we are back to demold. I'm so excited. You will have seen me demold this piece. I also poured a purple one because we had purple left over. So let's take this little baby out. So pretty. Such a pretty purple. Oh, I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. So there we go. And then we'll take out our dish. So excited by this one. So, so excited. Okay. So pretty. I love purple and black together. I just, I love it. It's my favourite colour combination. Oh, I love it. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm hoping you oh, that is so pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Love it. I don't know whether to do the pentagram inside black or just leave it as a sort of a, a subtle. Oh, and there are uh, Pop our necklaces inside. Oh, yee. oh, I absolutely adore this. Yes. Let me know what you think, guys. Should I colour in the pentagram or should I leave it as it is? If I colour it in, do I do it black? Do I do it white? Do I do it another colour? Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for spending time with me today, guys. If you have enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Keep crafting, guys. Bye.